The Seagate dashboard was created just for you, to protect your data and give you peace of mind. You don't have to worry about losing your favorite photos or movies anymore, so you can really focus on what really matters, creating more memories. And best of all, it's super easy to set up. And once you're set up, you're done. The Seagate dashboard will automatically do all of the work for you. No hassles, no forgetting, no worries. So let's take a look at the Protect feature. And remember, we call it Protect because that really is what you're doing. You're protecting your data by backing it up. Before we start protecting your data, I need to let you know that Protect is only for PCs. Mac users can use Time Machine for backup, but don't worry, you'll still get to use the great share and save features on the Mac version of the Seagate dashboard. Okay, so once you've installed the Seagate dashboard on your PC, launch it from your desktop and click the Protect button. If this is your first time or you don't already have a backup plan created, you'll see this screen. So let's click on Protect Now. Protect Now is the easiest option. With just one click, the Seagate dashboard does everything for you. It finds the drive you've attached to your computer. It creates a backup plan to copy all of your non-system data. You know, the information you don't want to lose, like your photos and personal documents. And it starts the continuous backup automatically. That means whenever you change something on your computer, it automatically gets backed up. So how easy was that? One click and you're done. The first time you back up your data, it needs to make a copy of all your data. Depending on how much you have, I know I have lots, it might take a while, and you might notice your computer running a bit slower than normal. This isn't unusual, in fact, it's normal. So you might want to choose a time for that first backup where you're not depending on your computer to be working at top speed, like overnight. Once you've completed that initial backup, Seagate Dashboard just protects your new files, as well as any files that you've made changes to. That saves both time and storage space, and you probably won't even notice it's working. Let's take a look at how you can manage your backup plans and backup jobs. Backup jobs, the ones that are actually running and protecting your data, display in the progress bar. If you need to pause a backup job, you can just click on the pause button next to the progress bar. If you click the X for delete, then you'll delete the backup job in progress, as well as have the option to delete any previous backups. Because you paused or deleted a backup job, the next time you do something that would require a backup under that plan, such as saving a file when backing up continuously, or when you reach the next scheduled backup time, the process will start up again automatically. Now if you want to pause or change a backup plan, you need to use the large icons to the right of the progress bar. Next to the pause button is the edit button with the pencil icon. That one lets you change your backup plan, such as the time or day of the week you want to back up. For maximum protection of your data, Seagate recommends backing up continuously, and it works really well, but I like to protect my data on a more leisurely schedule. Let me show you how to create a custom backup plan. From the Protect screen, click on the big plus button. The first thing you'll see is the option to choose which files to back up. There's my favorite, all files, which is actually all your data files. Or you can choose to back up only the files in your personal, documents, music, pictures, and video folders. You can even select specific files to back up by clicking on the file name. This is especially helpful if you need to back up files that reside on an external hard drive. After you've picked which files you want to back up, you then pick where you want to back them up. In this screen, you'll see all the available backup locations, including your Seagate Cloud storage. You get a free one-year subscription to the Seagate Cloud when you buy your Seagate Backup Plus drive. You can renew, extend, or increase your cloud storage whenever you'd like. And when it comes to protecting your data, it doesn't get much safer than the cloud. I personally have a backup plan that stores my most critical data, the stuff I just can't afford to ever lose, to both my Seagate Backup Plus and my cloud. Very cool and very comforting. Okay, let me show you how to set up a scheduled backup. This basically tells your computer when to actually perform the backup. After you've selected the files and backup location, Simply select monthly, weekly, daily, or even hourly to back up your files. This should be pretty intuitive. 
The snapshot option is for those of you who like manual control over your backup. When you first click snapshot, it does a complete one-time backup, but it will not backup again until you tell it to. The next time you want to update your snapshot, you just go to the main screen, click on update backups, and it will create an additional snapshot version that contains any new files you've added or changes you've made to existing files since the original snapshot. Now backing up doesn't do you much good unless you can restore your files. And of course, Seagate makes that easy as well. From the main screen, just click on restore files. That brings you to the restore selection screen where you can choose which backup plan to restore from. Once you've selected the backup plan, just pick the files or folders you'd like to restore. As far as where you'll restore those files to, well, the default is to restore them back to their original locations, but you can easily change that to any destination you'd like. So that's it. As you can see, the new Seagate dashboard is easy to use, very reliable, and incredibly powerful. Exactly what you'd expect from Seagate.